Welcome to Farmer Fridays, my first ever interview. My name is Elizabeth Lynch and I'm your 2020 Miss Berkeley County. Today I have the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Joseph Moritz. How are you today? Very well, Elizabeth. How are you? Doing great, doing great. So tell me about yourself and your agricultural background. So I grew up uh, on a small farm in Western Pennsylvania. My dad worked in JNL Steel, so his pr you know, primary job was uh, working in a steel mill. Uh, but we had a small farm where we raised sheep, uh, hay, we had some horses, goats, chickens, of course, uh, ducks, turkeys, and we even had some peacocks. And it wasn't uh, the primary income for the household, but it, it certainly helped out. Excellent. So what does your job as the state extension specialist of bean manufacture and poultry science entail? So I actually have a three-way split appointment in teaching, research, and extension. So my responsibilities are to teach courses in poultry production, in applied nutrition, uh, in feed science, and then I do research in those same areas. And then I also do extension where I work with small-scale producers as well as the large commercial producers in the state. Excellent. So you've been involved in agriculture for a very long time. So you should know some of the challenges about agriculture. And what do you think is the most challenging thing about working in this industry? So for, for me personally, uh, my, my research appointment takes up the largest percentage of my three-way split appointment. Uh, and it's the most challenging part of my job, uh, although it's also very rewarding. Uh, it's never easy to obtain funding. Uh, you always need to be looking at what's new and exciting and in vogue. And then once you're successful in obtaining funding, um, then you need to balance projects with successful graduate and undergraduate training, uh, as well as generate high quality data, and then of course publish that information. And, and that's, that's difficult for any field in science. Right, so you touched on it a little bit. What do you think is the most rewarding or the best thing about you working in the agricultural industry? So, so again, in, in my job specifically, uh, the easy answer to that is student success. Uh, I've graduated over 40 students, uh, and that's the favorite, it's my favorite part of the job, watching those students be successful, perform at a high level. Um, I, I love to, to watch them give uh, high quality research presentations or publish papers, and win awards, uh, and then certainly when they obtain employment, uh, I, I become very proud of that. Uh, I maintain good relationships with my students post-graduation and in many cases continue to work with them. Excellent. As we've noticed throughout the past two years, the pandemic has affected a lot of things and COVID-19 specifically has affected the agricultural industry in so many different ways. How do you think it's affected West Virginia poultry farmers? So initially, uh, there was a shift in markets away from restaurant production of poultry meat to restaurants uh, to grocery stores. So that was challenging. And then there were some issues with absenteeism in the processing plant that was due in part to some government relief policies. Um, recently, there's been a decrease of family farms, and that's, that's the norm for poultry production in West Virginia. It's family farm based. Uh, but there's been a shift because people retire and then children of those farmers uh, are not uh, immediately willing to take over the farms. Uh, so to resolve this situation, some companies uh, have allowed larger investor groups to build large farm operations to kind of fill that void. Uh, and this causes some community concern. Right, so what, what can our community do to help West Virginia poultry farmers? So I, I think, uh, you know, as a community, you, you've got to be open-minded uh, and, and appreciate the perspective that in, in the latter scenario that I described, we're really trying to fill a void. We're trying to maintain poultry production in West Virginia. Uh, for me at the university level, you know, we can be there to offer a perspective uh, and do what's asked of us. Uh, and it's never an easy position to be in because you don't want to overstep uh, your bounds in, in, in those specific situations. What is one thing that you want your community to know about West Virginia agriculture or West Virginia's poultry industry as a whole? So poultry production in West Virginia is the state's number one ag commodity. Um, poultry meat is the number one animal protein consumed in the U.S. and the world. Uh, so not everyone needs heart surgery and not everyone needs a defense attorney, but everyone does need to eat. Uh, therefore, poultry farming is absolutely critical to successfully feeding the U.S. population and the world population. I would 100% agree. 
I got involved in agriculture at a very young age, and I'm super thankful to have people around me that have guided me into the journey that I'm in today. So what advice would you give to those who want to start working in the agricultural field? So I, I, I truly believe that it's the most noble profession out there. Uh, it's by no means easy, but when you appreciate the big picture that you're actually feeding the world, uh, there's, there's really not a more rewarding profession. Right, I couldn't agree more with that statement. Growing up, one of my favorite phrases to hear was, it's not just cows, sows, and plows working in agriculture. And you right now are a prime example of that. You have a job working in the agricultural industry, but in academia. What are some examples of careers that you could give for people in the poultry industry who may not want to work on a poultry farm? So there, 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 it necessitates a lot of support. Um, you have to have nutritionists and geneticists and immunologists um, as, as well as people that are well-versed in management and, and that appreciate new technologies because uh, the, the field's ever-evolving. Yes, thank you. And why should people get involved in agriculture at all? So uh, we, we have to be involved in agriculture if we want to feed hungry people. I mean, going, going back to that. Um, USDA survey data uh, shows that food insecurity currently affects a little over 10% of U.S. households and there's an additional 4% uh, that rank as having low food security. Um, and it's really the job of agriculture to continue to produce the most safe, abundant, and affordable food. And this becomes more important with our ever-increasing population and decreasing land, land mass for agriculture. Uh, West Virginia is above the national average for food insecure households. Uh, and then personally, I grew up in a food insecure household uh, so this, this challenge of maintaining the greatest agricultural system in the world uh, is very personal to me, and, and I feel it's very important. That's right. So for my final question and my most favorite question, taking from my favorite speech by Erwin Milton Tiffany, why do you believe in the future of agriculture? It, it, as I alluded to before, I mean, it's absolutely essential. Uh, we, we have to feed our population and we have to take care of uh, the folks in our community. And, and we have a real issue in, in the United States and in West Virginia. Uh, so we've got to believe in it. We've got to do better. We've got to continue to strive for excellence. Thank you. And thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. For those of you that are watching at home, make sure you take the time to thank a farmer. Thank you. My name is Elizabeth Lynch and I'm your Miss Berkeley County 2020 signing off.